Hello, I'm Liz Priestman, the host of IDG's From the Top Interviews. In this special series, we're featuring women entrepreneurs and leaders, diving into their stories and hearing about the impact they're making. Today, I'm delighted to introduce Jamie Hoke, the Chief Operating Officer of Hillcrest Energy Technologies, a publicly listed company that's driving a difference. Welcome, Jamie. We're looking forward to hearing your story. Please introduce us to Hillcrest Technologies. At Hillcrest, we're developing transformative power conversion technologies. Um, just think of all the expanding electrified systems around us. There's electric vehicles and their chargers, renewable energy generation and storage, industrial drives, power supplies for data centers. All of these applications need power conversion devices, and these sectors are all growing incredibly fast. At Hillcrest, we're deploying what we call our zero voltage switching technology. This technology improves the efficiency, the performance, and the reliability of power conversion in all of these various applications that I just mentioned. It's really exciting uh, time to be in this space. We're on the cusp of securing our first customers, and we're tr transitioning into a truly commercial phase of our evolution. So it's exciting to see what's going to come next for us. Over the past 25 years, I've worked in a variety of energy and sustainability related industries. I've also spent a, a lot of time consulting with startups. So I, I've helped them get off the ground, build their business case, their strategy, and scale through that first few years of business. The opportunity to join Hillcrest and help guide the company into the clean tech sector from the very beginning um, is really a dream come true for me. I've been able to combine the experience that I've gained in the energy and sustainability areas and combine that with my passion for innovation and emerging technologies. Um, and I'm really looking forward to continuing to scale this company and take us to the next commercial level of success. I'd say so far, um, some of the biggest challenges that we face so far in scaling Hillcrest, maybe in two different areas. Uh, first, we've been really effective at taking our initial technology, our initial innovation, and transforming that into a commercial product. It's incredible to see all that we've accomplished in the past three and a half years. Um, from the very beginning, we've never hesitated to knock on the doors of some of the la largest automotive manufacturers and suppliers in the world. Um, we know we have the, take the technology and it's capable of outperforming anything they're currently using. And I think we've done a, a good job of demonstrating that value and learning along the way. However, you know, while grabbing the attention of some of these very large companies has been incredible for us, we've learned that it take, takes time, perhaps even more time than we originally anticipated for these large organizations to embrace a new technology. We're still very optimistic that we'll secure these, these first few customers in, in short order, but it's, it's really hard to be patient when you're a startup and you're a young company needing to secure those first real revenue streams. Um, and the tough market conditions over the past year and a half haven't helped. Um, we've definitely faced our fair share of challenges here. Luckily, we have a great technology and we've demonstrated that, that it can outperform the current products that are on the market today. Um, we run a really lean organization, which has been helpful during these, these tough market conditions. And we built an incredible network that's, that's been helping us open doors, not only to just customers, but also investors as well. Um, all of this combined has really been instrumental in helping us maintain our momentum. So overall, I think we've, we've weathered the challenge as well, and I think we're ready for whatever comes next. As I've already mentioned, we, we believe we're really close to securing that first major customer. Being able to make that first significant announcement should really catapult us um, into additional opportunities and a clear path to commercial success. Once that happens, um, we'll be off to the races, and I'm pretty sure there will be an immediate need to transition into scaling our commercial capabilities and capacity. So we're excited to see, to see what those next stages look like. Perhaps I'd suggest two different things. First, I, I definitely urge anyone out there to build a solid network and use it. None of us can do it all on our own. And surrounding yourself with a diverse network of people from all backgrounds and areas of expertise is, is incredibly valuable. Um, also, don't be afraid to ask questions and share your thoughts with people that you, that you start to meet and collect in your network. You might be surprised at how much energy others are willing to give. 
especially if you remain open to doing the same for them. Uh, secondly, I'd, I'd also say as a woman, we need to be bold. Um, we tend to doubt ourselves a little too often. Maybe we can be too timid or unsure of ourselves and our ideas. You'll never know if you can accomplish something or if your idea is good or not unless you put it out there. And once it's out there, at least you won't have to wonder, right? Good or bad, you, you'll know. You'll know if it's something that needs to consume any more of your energy or precious time. Jamie, thank you. It's been inspiring to hear your journey with Hillcrest Energy in breaking boundaries, driving innovation, and making a lasting impact for all of us. Thanks again for joining us.